Comet Swift Tuttle, officially designated 109P Swift Tuttle, is a large periodic comet with a diameter of about 26 kilometers, which is larger than 99% of all asteroids and is comparable in size to the city of Indianapolis. NASA JPL has classified it as a near-Earth asteroid because of its close orbit to Earth. Comet Swift Tuttle was discovered in 1860 by Lewis Swift and Horace Tuttle. 109P Swift Tuttle orbits the Sun every 48,700 days equal to 133.33 years. Approaching as close as 0.96 astronomical units and receding as far as 51.2 astronomical units. Its orbit is highly elliptical. NASA has said that it is highly likely that it will collide with the Earth, and researchers believe that. If such a comet, with a diameter of about 26 kilometers, were to strike, the impact would be devastating. Many believe that such an impact would be the cause of the extinction of the dinosaurs. The explosion from the impact would be about a billion times more powerful than the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. A huge cloud of dust thrown into the upper atmosphere could cover the Earth for years and cause widespread climate changes and ice ages. The impact on civilization can only be guessed, but it would be very severe. The probability of such an impact is very difficult to estimate. Given the known speed of the comet relative to the Earth, we can calculate that it will only hit the Earth if it is within a time window of three and a half minutes on its orbit. This means that, for example, an error of just one hour in the timing of the comet would cause it to move about 100,000 kilometers away from the Earth. The Swift Tuttle Comet is the parent body of the Perseid meteor shower. The pieces of space debris that interact with our atmosphere to create the Perseids, the Perseid meteor shower, which peaks in mid-August, is considered the best meteor shower of the year, with fast, bright meteors. The Perseids often leave long trails of light and color as they pass through Earth's atmosphere. The Perseids are one of the most common meteor showers, with around 50 to 100 meteors visible per hour. They occur during warm summer nights, making them easy for sky watchers to observe. The Perseids are also known for their fireballs, which are massive explosions of light and color that can last longer than the average meteor shower. This is because the fireball forms from larger particles of cometary material. The fireball will also be brighter, with an apparent magnitude greater than minus 3. The bright spot in the sky where the Perseid meteor shower appears as a comet is the constellation Perseus. Will this comet collide with Earth? Even if Earth were to pass through the comet's orbit, the chance of a collision would be very low. The comet is moving at a speed of 60 km per second relative to the Earth. This means that a collision is only possible for a few minutes. For the collision to occur, the comet must be within this very short time interval of its orbit. Latest observations have allowed the comet's orbit to be determined more accurately, making it clear that it will not collide with the Earth. When will Comet Swift Tuttle reach Earth? Revised calculations based on observations from 1992 and 1860 to have shown that the comet is identical to Comet Kegler, observed in 1737. Initially, it was not possible to obtain a final orbit that satisfied all observations, even if conditions were included to account for the effects of evaporation. Using the best orbit available at the time, it may be possible to predict the position of the comet at any time in the future. The most accurate estimate of the time of closest approach to the Sun was July 11, 2126. If this date had an error of plus 15 days, it would mean that the comet could impact the Earth on August 14, 2126. It would be a bright comet visible to the naked eye, reaching an apparent magnitude of about 0 0.7.